most people scared, bro. Most people are scared, but it's understandable, I guess, with this matrix. Your job's on the line. People don't want to, their boss to see it. They don't want, a lot of people, it's because of this money, bro. We got to get rid of this money, man. Money is, I'm got to make a video on this shit, bro. Money, bro. Got to get rid of this fucking money, bro. It is the money, man, is the main issue, man. But to be fair, we do have to take accountability as people. A lot of people do make poor decisions and a lot of people do put their self in the hole and put their self in a lot of debt and shit, which make them have to work all day and night just to make up for their mistakes. So it's both. It's the money, but people do make shitty decisions and they don't listen to people like us and they, they, they over leverage uh, super high car notes, super hard, super high. Um, house notes everything got to be the 2022 2023 got to be the five the, the the 2023 house five bedroom eight baths people just gotta uh try to live it big when they're not even on that level so just yeah money and brainwashing i guess you can say money plus brainwashing of the system bro man on everything bro like i guarantee you bro like if every human decided to talk to animals and ask animals like how do they thrive every day without the need of money if every human just asked any animal in existence whether it was a, a any type of bird any type of feline any type of canine in existence how does an animal thrive every day on planet earth without the need of money and without the need of a system because you know animals they literally thrive every day on planet earth without the need of money but somehow humans have lost their way due to like the so-called energy vampire system that was made by these reptilians and all these draconians there's a reason why like animals like every animal that i saw like from owls to herons to so many different breeds of birds, different breeds of felines, different breeds of canines, any type of animal in existence, you know, they never feel homeless. Animals never feel homeless on planet Earth, but a human could. Only because humans got so addicted to money because like the energy vampire straw man system literally brainwash a lot of humans into thinking without money we are nothing like that's how the, that's how the energy vampire white supremacist systems was all set up all over planet earth but animals they don't feel that way animals feel like earth is everywhere they go on earth is their home but a lot of humans don't feel that way you know it's interesting you know my own biological mother you know she told me how this earth, this whole planet was created by, you know, the fictional Jesus character and all that. But she don't strongly feel that it's like that because the money system created by the energy vampire white supremacist straw man controls humans to be like, OK, if you don't have this money, you're not going to be able to do this or do that. So like for a lot of the woke religious people, I always ask them, if you feel like your Jesus Savior Christ is so very useful, then, you know, you would get all your energy from the sun, the moon and everywhere on planet Earth. If you're if you're a Jesus Savior that you worship all the time is so valuable, like literally. And, you know, a lot of these woke religious sleep people on planet Earth. They don't really have faith in their so-called Jesus and Allah character that they always worship because if they did, they will always be financially rich, but they're not financially rich. That's how I know this so-called Jesus and Allah character was always fake and never existed because if they existed, then every single human on this planet that's considered low class would be financially rich, but that's not the case. So. I would tell this these woke religious people, especially woke religious family members, like, you know, that Jesus and a lot of person doesn't love you since you're not financially rich and you're always, you know, calling upon these fictional saviors that the that the white supremacist straw man had brainwashed you to put in and now you're fucking stressed out. 
And it's like animals got more common sense. Like literally animals are way more intelligent than humans. I have to I have to admit that I have to say this. Animals are more spiritually intelligent than humans by far, by a long shot. Like an animal could literally find out a way how to build a home before a human could do it out of nothing. An animal. We talking about owls. We talking about eagles, hawks, falcons, vultures, hyenas. Like every animal is smarter than every human that I know. <laughs> like, come on, man. Like animals never feel homeless at all. But humans could even the most woke religious human on the planet can feel homeless if they don't have enough money, man. And this is where. Like, it's crazy because I see a lot of woke religious people that are in the sleepwalking curse. They can put so much faith in their Allah and Jesus savior that they worship that came from the slave owners religions and shit. They can have so much faith in all that shit, you know, because it sounds good. It sounds good to the human's ear to say like, oh, the savior is going to make everything right. Right. So, but listen, these Jesus and a lot of saviors never, ever put it into this evil energy vampire straw man system that screws over human citizens whether they was melanated or non-melanated a lot of woke religious people especially woke religious family members don't want to admit this yo that's funny that's crazy you mentioned that I, i'm in orlando homeless are everywhere where this guy was sitting on the ground he had his dog and the dog was laid out on a concrete next to him and i was looking at that i was like you know what that dog has no clue that they're homeless Unless that dog was born in the house with that man and then they went homeless. If the dog was homeless out there with him, the dog has no clue. And that's crazy you said that. And I was thinking, I was like, that man knows he's homeless, though. He has to be going through some shit mentally, man. You know, I can only imagine what homeless people go through mentally or whatever. But you know, my point is, is I, I made that uh, observation today. And I said that same shit, man. That dog laid out. He doesn't know their situation he's just like you said he's just out in nature like let me tell you this this could probably get way way deep a lot of woke religious people can like see a whole system crash and they will literally be looking for that Allah person that Jesus person that Lord Joshin or whatever Lord that it is that they that they been so indoctrinated to put their faith into and that and those fictional characters never came to existence when the system crashed it's just like i seen a picture before where this man was holding up this meteor to protect his family and this woman in the picture literally be like you know asking help for them jesus character and the man the real life man saying woman help me and she ain't helping because she's trying to wait for that jesus character to come back and save this her family from the meteor when Man, it's still going to get deep, man. Because a lot of the woke religious people, what they don't, what they fail to realize is, okay, the money system that they always say is the root of all evil. They say money is Satan, all this damn shit, right? Okay, a lot of woke religious people, especially my woke religious family members, they always say like, oh, the money is the root of all evil. Okay, if, if the money is the root of all of evil, then why the fuck you slaving away for it, damn? That's the damn case. Like, come on now. Like, think. I want you to, like, come on, think. Like, if money was the root of all evil, then why the fuck would you slave away at a corporation for it or do a OnlyFans for some damn money if the money was the root of all evil? This is where we get these woke religious people all fucked up in the head. This is where they get super quiet. Especially my woke religious family members. The thing that I really need a lot of these woke religious people to actually figure out is, okay, so your Jesus and Allah Savior makes everything available for you. So do what the animals do. You know, 
have earth be to your use. Animals know how to make earth to their use. Alligators, they know how to make the swamp in the bayou to their use. A shark knows how to make an ocean to their use. Like literally, a swordfish knows how to make water to their use. Like literally. So it's like, come on, like these woke religious humans, for example, like they just, they forget that planet earth was created by their so-called savior and they and they sitting here slaving away for money at corporations. But this so-called Jesus and a lot of person had everything set out for them and they not even taking heed to their own religion. Like me being a person that's not religious at all, I literally can just take everything from the moon energy and the sun energy and I'll be straight for the whole day. I'll be straight for the whole day and everything and not even have to like think about money and, and, and be like, oh, how I'm going to survive and all this shit. OK, if you can get if this planet Earth is, is home for humans and animals, why would I feel like, oh, I'm, I'm not supposed to be a part of planet Earth? Like if Earth is my home, then I should feel home everywhere that I go, even if I was at zero dollars or had infinite numbers amount of dollars because I realized that I am the money. If I told some family members right now that, you know, we are planet Earth, they'll look at me like I'm crazy because they're brain dead. I'ma tell you this, if those woke religious people are seeking help from the Jesus and the law character when the system crash, I'ma tell you this, if they dig a hole, that'll be the first time that they actually be on to something with their earthly roots and be able to like actually connect just like how animals connect with the earth and actually and actually build build their own home and build their own foundation from it build their own empire like they were supposed to because the energy vampire draconians and many black alien slave owners they wanted to prevent a lot of humans from being in their ultimate potential the same way Frieza wanted the Saiyans to be hindered from their real potential. And we literally saw how these Saiyans like rose in their potential over the years. <laughs> yeah, I never really thought about that, with, about the money being the root of all evil. And like you're saying, and most people are literally like putting all their energy efforts and like all their brain power, all their whatever into, I guess, something that's evil. <laughs> I guess I guess that's the best way to put it. Um That's crazy. Then they'll look at us and think we're evil or we are schizophrenic or we're on drugs. But it's it's just insane, bro. Yeah, you be spitting facts, man. You you be going in, man, like Yeah, bro. Like Yeah, yeah, man. You definitely have a lot of knowledge. Your frequency's up there, man. I love hearing it. The thing is, with these woke religious people who always rely on corporate jobs to like have things taken care of, they always forget due to due to a lot of humans that are very sleep that rely on corporations, right? It might be like the entertainment industry or any type of industry that they work at. They'll forget that the earth can literally take care of them like animals realize if they take care of the earth, like the earth will take care of them. But a lot of humans keep forgetting this. A lot of my family members keep forgetting this, that the earth can literally take care of them, like literally. Like, bro. If only, if only, if only a lot of humans were spiritually awake. But they'll be able to find out once the system crash. They'll find out soon enough. While the spiritually awake ones already caught on to how the earth can take care of us when we take care of it yo i agree with you bro that's why when i'm going home from this vacation or i don't want to say vacation i'm out here grinding but like um i'm going back home i got uh i ordered two pounds of quartz crystals um uh, clear quartz and then um uh, little chunks and i'm gonna be building structures and um get some like axe axes shovels and just start like learning how to build a fire, chopping down wood and just like get some wood and just like you're saying, get back to nature, man. Like build these structures to power my house. I got some copper wire, got uh, stainless steel wire, just need some copper rods. 
get some silver rods, but mainly copper rods. But I'm going to get some silver rods too, but uh, definitely heading in that direction.